What's up, my bearded bros? Today we have another video on our countdown, and we are nearing the top five Overwatch characters, or at least my favorite Overwatch characters. And today, today, people, we have a Zenyatta here, and Zenyatta ranks in at number. True self is without form. <laughs> oh, Zenyatta ranks in at number five. He top starts off our top five. Zenyatta, the support. You might notice we have two defense heroes, one tank, and one support left. If you can guess who's my top four in the correct order, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to let me know your whole list, let me know. Type out a comment, 1 through 22 if you want to. If you don't want to do one through two, give me your top five, give me your top ten, I don't care. I would like to hear from you. I'd like to hear your opinion. And you have it if you have anything to say like, oh this person should be higher and why, just let me know. Cause that's what's so good about these videos is it opens up the conversation. I'm like Colin Kaepernick, because I'm open up the conversation. Now, why is Zenyatta so high on my list? Why does he qualify for top five when seventeen other heroes don't one definitely probably the number one reason why his offensive capabilities he's probably the most offensively capable support character of all of them hey look at that just got a double kill a support just got a double kill and clear out most of the objective there's probably no other support you could do that with as easily. Yes, recently he got buffed and nerfed to where his orb of discord doesn't do as much boost damage or whatever, but his orbs do more damage now, so it balances out. Just the thing is, where the orb of discord does less, your just overall team damage isn't going to be as much, but your individual damage still will. Now, other reasons why I like Zenyatta just... Besides the fact that he's a complete badass on offense. Actually, before I get to that, he is probably honestly the optimal hero for offense. Like, if you're if you need to heal your guys on offense, but you want to help out too, then yeah, that's the way to go. Boom. I died. Other than that, he's got Badass skins. His skins are epic. He has an Egyptian style skin. He has, he has um, I believe Indian style skins. They're not like a Native American Indian, but Asian Indian. And as standard, where these game modes go by, I'll probably add in another one after. Just so I can talk a little more about him. Who knows? What's up, my beater bros? Today we have number five of our countdown. Yes, folks, we are in the top five of our Overwatch Hero review list of my favorites from 22 to 1. If you have not watched any other ones and this is your first, I have a playlist that I'm setting up right now, currently. I'm working on adding the other ones to it. Sometimes it takes a day or two for me to get off my ass and do it because I'm busy with other stuff anyway eventually all videos will be in that playlist if this is the first one you're seeing go check out go check out the rest of the playlist if you don't want to see the whole thing just check out the heroes that you are interested in doesn't have to be all of them could be just tanks just support just offense just defense I don't care just as long as you enjoy yourself I ain't gonna sit here and force you to watch it that'd be just rude now, Zenyatta, why is Zenyatta cool? Why is Zenyatta our top five? Why is he the first of our top five heroes? I don't have any good emotes, but look at that skin. Purple on white. This is a purple skin. This is like the one that cost you 250. I know because I bought this one. I couldn't get it out of a loot, loot box. So I'm like, I'm going to have to buy it. So I bought it. What makes Zenyatta so good to me to beat out 17 yes 17 other heroes well first of all I love playing support I've already talked about this before and if you haven't seen it before I love playing support it's crucial 
especially in like quick play AI, you don't seem to have too many other people willing to play support. Mainly because other people don't get a lot of practice, so they're like, I don't want to bog down the team, be bad support, everyone start dying and shit. Well, you know what? We need you to be support, so be support. So <laughs> usually I'm stuck being support. So Zenyatta was the first one I really clicked with. He, he has obviously two major abilities that everyone knows about. His Harmony Orb, which heals teammates, and his Discord Orb, which gives a boost to damage on enemies. Now, just a quick note couple of negatives about his ability for our discord orb is if Zarya pops a shield on herself or on anyone else who is discord orb at that time the discord orb will fall off if you die the discord orb will fall off so you got to be very careful you can't just be all balls to the wall with your discord orb or else you will die and it, it might end up hurting your team it most likely won't but it could if you now, with his trophies, though, I don't talk much about the character trophies because there's not much, like, I feel like I can get. But in quick play or competitive, one of his trophies is to rapidly discord or so many enemies and kill them. I don't see how that's possible unless you somehow have a situation where you grouped up with friends and they're letting you kill them so quick. I mean, granted, you don't have to do all the damage yourself, but still, the fact that you have to have so much chemistry between your teammates and yourself to get it in the exact perfect timing. Because if, like, two, if a few, like, three accidentally get killed and you can't discord more of them, then you're screwed. And it has to be in a certain amount of time, so let's say someone has to reload and they live for an extra second too long, you're screwed. It's really touchy, but other than that, he's amazing. His ult is so clutch let's say it's not like lucio we can heal multiple people but let's say you have multiple people taking damage on a control point and you need to defend it because it's like let's say going into overtime or something like that that's yeah, just a gist let's say you have that situation arise what do you do boom you pop transcendence not only do you heal everyone around you in a certain area but you heal them so fast it basically heals them all the full and you could theoretically save someone from dying from an alt like McCree. Now, I'm not sure if you can save like an offensive character or a low HP defensive character without armor because I'm not sure exactly how much damage it does. But it can't be like, oh, high noon, then boom, finish off shot like sometimes to a Bastion or something. Not only that, but it's perfect to counter alts like soldier it's almost the perfect counter to a soldier alt without having to use like some form of blocking mechanism now his other abilities i have not covered yet actually i covered every single one he is a three star difficulty character i cannot believe that like I have such a fun time and good time using him, but I feel like he's one star. But that's true for a lot of like, I don't want to say pro players, but a lot of people who play games similar to this a lot, is sometimes the more complicated mechanics, or supposedly more complicated mechanics, are easier. And you know, that's what makes Overwatch so good, is different characters click with different people. Zenyatta freaking clicks with me like peanut butter clicks to jelly. Like bacon clicks to egg, you know what I mean? And I got put to sleep. <laughs> 35 kill streak. Look at Zenyatta own most healing, most objective kills with one. And we got a bronze and elimination, and a bronze and damage. She is a multi faceted machine. You probably won't out heal Mercy if there's both of you, but you know, you can come in clutch. Get that clutch heal off at the end, finish off everybody so nobody dies before that, after the timer. Holy shit, we had three Bastions. I didn't even notice. <laughs> oh, look, Bastion, play of the game. Who would a thunk it? Anyway, you guys have a good, good day, or stay tuned for the next part of the video. I'll cut straight to it so I don't waste your time. 
See you guys in a second. And welcome back, everyone, to Zenyatta number five on our countdown. Right now, we have two very annoying people trying to battle it out to see whose character is the douchiest. I'm kidding. I'm assuming one person, Tails, wants to run all the Roadhogs right now, but this is not a Roadhog review. That one would have gone up before this one, so that one's already done. We have three Roadhogs now. I should get a lot of healing done unless they start healing themselves. Now, as for like the perfect strats to use in Yada for in like, let's say competitive or quick play, Honestly, I'm not that experienced with him in competitive or quick play, so I don't know if my advice would be any good But if I can give any advice that will help at least even a little I am willing to try if it doesn't work I am sorry. I apologize and I can't I can't do anything about it. Anyway, my advice would be To closely follow but not closely follow but follow behind a tank like let's say a Roadhog, Reinhardt, or D.Va And yes, even Zarya have a harmony orb on them at all three times and by three times does I mean if someone's like doesn't need healing have it on the tank because if they start taking damage that way you can almost heal them back up to full that would be good if and then when you see like let's say an offensive defensive character having troubles needing healing that's when you boom pop a harmony orb on them and then when they're done healing I am freaking terrible. And when they're done healing, that's when you pop it straight back onto the tank. Like right now, if I ha would have had my Harmony Orb stuck on Roadhog right now, he wouldn't be in critical health. And the fact that when you have a Harmony Orb on an offensive or defensive character with low HP, I'm discluding Bastion right now, because Bastion is 300, all other defensive characters have like 200, I think. I know May has 200. Junkrat has 200 about. Same for almost everyone else, I think. There, heal them, heal him. I have 290 healing so far. Anyway, that's the best strat I can give. Let's say if you're defending, I would say try to discorp orb as many people as you can as often as you can even if you can't let's say shoot them with your normal attack it it pays off to attack well, at least with your harmony orb i mean discord orb it doesn't matter if it's for one second two seconds if you have to keep switching between enemies if you can have let's say two bullets Two bullets out of a soldier alt hit him when he has a discord warp he's gonna go down a lot quicker he's gonna melt a lot faster that's just how it is other than that there's not really much else i can say towards strat because like i said i haven't utilized him enough in competitive because i'm not versed enough in that to find myself to be skilled enough to do it that well i mean pretty soon i might actually have a compilation of my many failed attempts at competitive play once i start doing it again i mean between football working on this playlist editing rise of iron coming out and scheduling it's been hectic <laughs> starting to lose my voice too so that's not gonna help Um, definitely, it's worth note, if you are playing a control point, or even something like this, and it's overtime, and let's say you, your team needs a push, but like four of them got wiped out, it could be beneficial to, um, pop your transcendence, even if it, the guy with you is not critical. Just hold them, hold that objective, hold the overtime as long as you can, and I recommend you'll start to improve if you followed my advice with Zenyatta, if you're not already better than me. Which you could, very well could be, it's not that hard. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, check out the rest of this playlist, like I mentioned before. So have a good time, I'll try to give you a laugh or two, my bad puns and all. 
This has been the Bearded Maniac speaking, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.